Hi everybody and welcome to another edition of the Hobby Hussy. Today I am going to be making a dragon skin bubble effect on this coaster here. And this is what it looks like at the end. And I start out with a little square wooden coaster that they sell at Michael's. I paint it pink with some acrylic paint, let it dry, and then I put some UV resin on it. And I'm smearing it out with my fingers. Then I use bubbles, and I make these with uh, one part of Dawn dishwashing liquid and like three parts of water, and then I put a straw in it and blow. So that's how you make bubbles, and then you kind of push the bubbles off onto the board that's already filled with resin, and then I use my um, UV light to cure it. And follow the directions on your UV resin because they are all different. And this is what that ends up like, and it's very dimensional. I can actually feel the little craters in it. And now I am going to dry brush some gold across it. And when you dry brush, just use a little bit of paint on your brush. And then you kind of dry it off on a napkin, which I did not show. But the goal is to just hit the highlights of this coaster so you're kind of accentuating the um, ridges and stuff in the skin. But it, it's a really cool effect. And I kind of painted the craters as well, just here and there, and it, I really shouldn't have, but I just left it. But when I'm done with this, I will let it dry for about 30 minutes. And then I thought of the bright idea of double decorating this effect. I might should have left it alone, but I just had to check it out. So after the paint is dry, I... Give it another coat of the UV resin, spread it out with my fingers, and then I do the bubbles again. Lots of fun. And you can do big bubbles or little bubbles, it just depends what kind of texture you're going for. And then I put the UV light on it. And then I let it dry, rinse it off, and let it dry. And then I am putting a color change paint on the highlights this time. So it's dry brushing again, but just a different color of paint. I just wanted something to contrast. And you can use whatever colors you want, anywhere you want. And when that dries, do another coat of UV resin. And put the UV light on it. And then I did another coat of UV resin because it didn't quite look filled enough or thick enough. So did it again, another UV light. And this is what it looks like. I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thank you very much.